What's up, y'all? We got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Duke Dennis reacts to his before they were famous video. He gets angry. <laughs> let's get it. I just told me that I'm on before they was famous. So let's see if oh, let's see. Duke Dennis before they were famous. From military dropout to successful. It was uploaded two hours ago. I bet. Let's see it. All right, but look, Duke Dennis. He got Duke a lair. Dennis, before they was famous. Just to let everybody know, I don't consider myself famous. Um, I'm just a regular, regular nigga out here living life. <laughs> Corner right there. <laughs> Before becoming one of the most popular American YouTubers and personalities on the internet, well, gamer Duke Dennis, he was born. Wait, I'm not a gamer. Drop me off or, or around I'm the not a gamer right no there. more, nigga. Get your back straight, bro. Before becoming one of the most popular American YouTubers and personalities on the internet, well, gamer Duke Dennis, he was born Dontavious Tony Dennis on February 26, 1994 in Greenville. That How the hell does nigga know my whole name? Middle name, Tony? Tony? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know his middle name would be Tony. Definitely didn't expect Tony. What's your name? What is your name? <laughs> Yo! I believe the Dontavious. He looked like a Dontavious. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> South Carolina. Now growing up with two brothers on February 26, 1990. Well, gamer Duke Dennis, he was born Don Killer. Or, or right there. How the hell does this nigga know? <laughs> Before becoming one of the most popular American YouTubers and personalities on the internet, well, gamer Duke Dennis, he was born Dontavious Tony Dennis on February 26, 1994, in Greenville, South Carolina. And said Dontavious Tony Dennis. Yeah. Now growing up with two brothers, well, Duke, he was primarily raised by a single mother and in his teenage years, well, he excelled at playing football for his high school team. Even if the rest of the team, well, they really weren't all that hot. Now, Duke friends. was a member of his school's team during his junior and senior years. Hey, bro, what, hey, 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 bro. First off, you got all these images on Google. Go to my Instagram, gang. I got fresh new pictures up there, bro. Why yeah. do niggas be doing it? They be going on Google instead of going to my Instagram, bro. I got real fire flicks on there, bro. He even joined. I ain't gonna lie, he don't have the best the pitch. team in the first place. Well, it stems from an incident. That I mean, that's a good damn picture, though. That happened the year prior during gym class. Now, he and his schoolmates they were playing flag football for the first time ever, and some of the kids who were already members of the football team, well, they were all part of the festivities. But much to their surprise, Duke, he. Hey, who the? Fuck <laughs> <is> <laughs> Bro, who the f is this nigga, bro? Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> he did just put a random ass dude in there. Hey, who the f is this nigga, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, because that's not Duke. He absolutely lit up the field. <laughs> the word eventually got back to the school's football coach, who then recruited Duke relentlessly for the rest of the school year. And even though Duke's family, they couldn't afford the necessary equipment for him to play the sport, well, the coach decided to set Duke up with everything he could possibly need. But remember how bad I said this team was? Well, Duke, he doesn't even remember winning one single game during his first season with the team. Now, during his next season... Though, hey, but I'm not gonna lie to him. How did I'm he not know gonna that? Lie. <clears throat> Bro did his homework though. Hey, he did his homework though. You know, I'm not gonna count. Bro did his homework. Well, Duke became the hub of the offense, and they actually wound up winning a game or two. But it's not it's like fast. Duke's destiny laid in football, because no, it nah. definitely did not. Now, he was apparently offered a couple scholarships from community colleges to continue on with the sport. But instead of doing so, well, Duke Dennis... Now, see the CIA deep dive random pick and start. He decided to join the military. That's now, fast. Duke, he enlisted in the... Yo! <laughs> hey, nah, no, no cap. Yo, no cap. This nigga is the most federal police nigga I've ever. First of all, I ain't even know Duke was in the military. Bro, 
I used to go crazy with the mirror pits in the army. Army straight out of high school with a friend of his in order to escape his relatively small hometown. Now, fact. after a hellacious boot camp, well, he was stationed out in Germany where he'd spend the next four years of his life while mainly taking on a series yeah, of- Yeah, he spent his four, he spent four years in Germany. That's crazy. Everything these boys got now, they deserve. They work their ass off. Administrative tasks. Now, whenever he reflects on this shit. monumental moment in his life, well, Duke considers it to be one of the worst decisions he ever made. And this epiphany, well, bro, who is this? If these niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> who? Bro. I don't know who that is. <laughs> bro. Whoever put. <laughs> Bro, whoever put together this slideshow, boy, I'm on your mom, I'm on your boy. They need to fire you, boy. Cause I got so many pictures on my Instagram, bro. You could have hit me up, bro, and be like, hey, dude, bro, give me some old pictures of you with your haircut. I would have sent them to you, nigga. Who the hell is this nigga, bro? <laughs> well, it hit him almost as soon as he stepped into military transport for the very first time. And I want to say that it was one of the worst experiences of my life, bro. I never go back. <laughs> I just want to say it was the worst experience of my life. Germany will duke. He was discouraged. He was desolate. There you go. Big D block. There you go, nigga. Put some more respect on my name, bro. And he was alone. Now he wound up spending most of his time in his barracks and he yeah. absolutely hated always being yeah. told what to do. Yeah. Now desperate to get himself out of this situation, will do contemplated doing something as silly as smoking weed to earn a Yo, this nigga know everything about my whole life. My government name. <laughs> this nigga know everything about my whole life himself a discharge but after talking with his sergeant he decided to finish out his contract which yo no cap i was just telling a girl this to today i was just literally i just told the story time to a girl earlier ended in 2017. Now, following his exit from the US military, well, Duke changed his focus to something he was truly passionate about, which turns out to be gaming. Now, right before heading off to basic training, well, Duke Dennis, he joined YouTube for the first time in 2013 with the creation of his channel, Duke Dennis Gaming. He did not, however, begin posting regular content until around 2016, right before his eventual escape from the army. Now, Wait, hold on. Damn, so Duke been at this shit since like 2012? <laughs> First off, first off, uh, that's incorrect. I didn't make my channel in 2013. I uh -huh. made my channel in 2016, but Davo, my, my right hand man's, Davo was already on this like content, like internet trying to be famous type. Davo had a YouTube account where he used to post people uh, music with lyrics. And they it used to get millions of views and shit like that. And then Debo went to JUCO. And then when I told him that he was, when I told him that I was uh, starting a YouTube channel. He, what the hell is JUCO? He was like, hey, I got a YouTube channel that, that got like 3K subs on it that I don't use no more. You can have it. You know what I'm saying? I just delete all the videos off of it. So he gave me his YouTube channel with 3K subs on it. I changed the name. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I changed the name and then I started, you know what I'm saying, uploading my 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 YouTube videos on there. What first That's bunch crazy. of Duke's content is What's Juco? Involved him playing NBA 2K and putting trash talkers in their place. Now, and in an unlikely turn of events, well, these first few uploads, well, they began going viral and they occurred thousands of views each, bringing his channel to much needed attention. Now, that's when Duke came up with this genius idea to create a video that combined his in life, real sport talents, not to mention sense of humor, Yo, with his video game skills. Dreaming yeah. of a video yeah, titled yeah, it, My Park in Real Life Part 2. With only Yo. four videos to his his name at the time will do key double down on this idea of injecting his real life personality Yo. into the proceedings from that oh. point y'all <laughs> listen we was just in miami right and some people walking around with a paper talking about can i pray for you hell no <laughs> i don't need your prayer uh, -uh i talk to jesus when i wake up I talk to Jesus midday, and I always talk to Jesus before I go to sleep. I don't need you praying for me. <laughs> mm -mm. 
Next thing you know, y'all gonna see me in a dress or some shit. Point four. And eight. he would see his channel undergo exponential like, growth as a result. Hey, jumping no from cap. around five figure subscriber count to six in just one year. Thanks. Along the way, will Duke, he met a bunch of dudes who would quickly become some of his very best friends. I'm talking, of course, about the other members of AMP. Otherwise, Whoa, known as nigga, AMP. It's AMP, nigga. Get that shit right. A nigga don't say it all, nigga. Big AMP, nigga. Word, nigga, AMP, nigga, don't, bruh, bruh. Possible. <laughs> now, this is a content collection that were created in 2019. He pissed him off by the amp. Teen by Agent Double Zero and would come to include other members like Chris Nextdoor, I'm Davis, Venuma, Kai Senate, and Duke. Venuma! Dennis. That nigga said Venuma, <gasps> y'all. Like Chris next door. I'm Davis. Venuma. Kai. Senate to include other members like Chris Next. Senate! Or I'm Davis, Venuma, Kai Senate, and Duke Dennis himself. Now, this increase in exposure, it would lead to crossover success between the collective members. And in 2020, while well, Duke's YouTube channel, it would cross the mark from a little over 600,000 subs at the beginning of the year to surpass the 1 million mark by April of that year. And since then, while well, Duke, he has only expanded his reach all the more. <laughs> now, today, he's got over 177 million views on his primary channel, and he's also branched out by creating two supplements channels duke dennis which he founded in april of 2020 as well as duke dennis live now he created this the following yeah. year now together those two channels they account for another 2 million subscribers as well as almost 150 million views yeah. now being as focused as he is will duke he also has a twitch channel with over a million followers <laughs> and he regularly send him donations during his lengthy live streams whether he's gaming or simply chatting it up with his fans That's us, family. That's us. <laughs> and if all of that wasn't enough to keep him busy, well, he also launched his own clothing line in recent months called D-Block. Now, this features specifically designed hoodies, tank tops, t-shirts, and decals from his, uh, well, his biggest supporters can wear his merch. Right. Since crossing the 1 million mark threshold in 2020 on his primary gaming channel, well, Duke Dennis has continued to produce NBA 2K streams every yeah. few months. Uh -huh. But the vast majority of his time is spent shooting in real life content that often winds up on his Dennis Duke Live channel. In fact, Yo, it's over what? on that channel. <clears throat> That yeah, ends nigga. up on his Dennis Duke live channel, bro. I, I think he's saying that because you only post once a month on, on Duke Dennis. Bro, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This nigga is the worst narrator. You 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 got your facts in order. You just don't do your research, gang. What? Like you you bandit, appreciate the sub, bro. Word, bro. I hope you've been alright. Like, <clears throat> bro. You don't do your research, bro. You don't get your punctuations, punctuations and shit correct. Well, where Dennis Duke, well, he's documented one of his biggest <laughs> accomplishments to date by somehow managing to pull up hip hop superstar Cali. Yeah, that's right. And we recently did her before they are famous. The force is strong with this one. Now it is even possible that Duke Dennis, well, he's been thirsting after Cali for so long. Oh, damn. What? And we recently did her before they are famous. The force is strong with this one. Now it is even possible that Duke Dennis, well, he's been thirsting after Cali for so long. Nah, thirsting after Cali is crazy. What the? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that Come was. On, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it all the way a thousand with you right there, my dog. Come on, man. Don't even got try to play me like that, my boy. Ain't no got. Thirsty, no, 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 nothing. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan, don't got try to got play me like I'm some got ho ass nigga. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man, this man, boy, 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 you better be lucky. I don't want to speak on that, boy. 
Boy, you, boy, you better be lucky I don't want to speak on it. That what? it just evolved into a recurring bed that his fans love. They was just cool last week. I think they uh, they may not be cool right now. Oh, to man. theorize Here about. Now, even Callie has hinted at his obsession over on social media. And like, what? Damn, hinting at his obsession? 2022, by post- Nah, boy, hinting at his obsession boy, is gonna, got, crazy. Get hot, boy, because this boy, you got trying to play me like I'm a ho or something, nigga. <laughs> she didn't say that. Boy, 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 <laughs> boy, it's, it, boy, it's, it's the other way around, boy. <laughs> but y'all ain't even got trying to play me, boy. The other way around, boy. Thing about how much Duke don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna downplay. I'm not gonna downplay like they went in my motherfucking dog. I'm not gonna downplay that. But boy, this nigga got trying to play me like a hoe or something like boy, boy, <laughs> boy. You better be lucky I don't want to speak on it, boy. Real talk, boy. I'm about obsessed. Is into her. But in recent days, Will Duke, he uploaded a video to his live YouTube channel in which he finally interviews Callie one on one. The thing is, going by the context that the, the video it provides, it sure as heck looks like these two, well, they're just meeting for the very first time. Now, in the title of that video, Will Duke, he has capitalized on the perceived notion that these two have been dating by referring to Callie as his ex. What the fuck does this have to do with Duke growing up? <laughs> What does she have to do with any of that? I ain't gonna lie, he got the right to be upset, boy. I'm telling you, now that's again, crazy. Now again, whether that this is just like a, a game or something, well, whatever way they're doing it, it's getting Duke a lot of clicks. But they're all- He don't even use it's her. To... Yeah, yeah, he did. Hey. He don't even use her for his content. That's crazy. <laughs> Who is this nigga? I'm gonna I'm be this motherfucker's ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Bro, chat. Chat, come on, man. I ain't gonna lie, that would've pissed me off. All that. Come on, man. <laughs> what this nigga talking about, man? Nigga talking about clicks. Nigga, do you know who the fuck I am, nigga? Chat, do this nigga know who the fuck we is, nigga? <laughs> this nigga trying to put it, this nigga trying to put it like God. Like God, I'm got cloud chasing some shit, nigga. This nigga trying to make it seem like I'm cloud chasing some shit. This nigga don't even know what the fuck going on, boy. With this goddamn weird video, boy. No, no cow. Boy, I, boy, I ain't even got want this shit to be on live, boy. Nigga playing with my motherfucking name, boy. I ain't even want this shit to be on live, nigga. Three, three, three in the chat. He did. Boy, you boy, you better be lucky I don't want to speak on it, boy. Word, now this nigga, boy, this whole thing making me a little hot because, boy, you better flip this month. Boy, you better flip the whole switch. You be, boy, you better, <laughs> boy, you gotta redo this video, boy. So videos of the two of them circulating on TikToks from the middle of 2022, which makes pinning down the timeline of the relationship, well, about as hard as solving a Rubik's Cube. I can't really figure out what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so shut the Oh, man, cloud, well, I honestly can't do anything but give Duke props because his gamble has certainly paid off. Now, in just three days, the video he uploaded alongside Callie, well, it's already earned over 1 million views, which is more than double what the majority of his other uploads have pulled in during the past month. Now, surprised to find out that Duke Dennis might be exaggerating his relationship with a hip hop superstar. Well, that probably won't surprise you as much as the next part, because while I was researching Duke's life, well, I discovered this tale from just after his military days. It turns out that once he was a free man, well, Duke, he moved back in with his mother, but because of an associate she had made around the same time, well, the family was forced to flee a trailer park to avoid being targeted by some ruthless individuals. That's right. Now this is- Yo. <laughs> Yo. Wait, what? <clears throat> boy, listen, boy. Boy, listen, boy. No cap. Boy, this the first half of this video, you was all you was on point. 
But the first half, that nigga said they had to video, flee from a trailer was on park. Point. But as soon as you start talking about Cali, bro, everything you said was incorrect, nigga. And it pissing me off, boy. Cause boy, don't ever got try to play me like I'm got a bugaboo or something, <laughs> but like I'm a got like I'm a hoe or something. Like goddamn, I'm got clout like I'm a clout chasing that nigga, boy. This shit, boy, <laughs> boy, boy. You better be lucky. I don't want to speak on it, boy. Boy, and you f***ing up my homeboy's name, talking about Fanuma and Kassini. <laughs> Fanuma. <laughs> but you had us in the first half, boy. Fanuma is crazy. Boy, my name do Dennis, boy. I built this boy, from the I, ground Fanuma up. Fanuma nigga, nigga. is fucking crazy. I ain't never crazy. needed nail, nigga, nail, bitch, nail, nigga, to got do what I need to do on this motherfucker, boy. You know what I'm saying? The nigga trying to make it seem like I got, like I'm a f*** or something, like. Fanuma. <laughs> it's important to note because with only two bedrooms in the trailer, well, Duke, he used to have to use his original gaming setup for his YouTube channel in his brother's room. Who would more often than not, well, he would wind up sleeping on the couch. Now, during this period of time in Duke's life, well, his YouTube channel blew up. And do you want to know what he spent his first $4,000 YouTube check on? Well, he spent it on his family. Taking care of his brother and his mother before himself just goes to show you that from the very beginning, well, Duke Dennis, he had his priorities straight which at the end of the day well is probably why he's as successful as he is today as one of youtube's most popular content creators all right guys we're gonna wrap up this episode of before they are famous but i do have a question for you guys what's the biggest mistake you made as a young adult which you wish you could go back and change today watching this weird video <laughs> man <laughs> that's messed up downgrade anything he's accomplished wrong yeah he, he was all kind of just off nigga no nigga no nigga ain't no obsessed nigga boy you baby boy <clears throat> You let me know yours in the comments down below. And uh, we like to tag on a previous upload to the end of our new uploads. So I guess it's Kai said it for this one. I know he reacted to the thumbnail. Enjoy it. I'll see you guys in another video. Kai Sennett would just piss me off. Greer. In 2000, star ATL Jake. Shit, bro. Bruh. Did Kai he react to his? Bro. Word, but real talk, but nigga got this shit backwards, bro. That shit just that shit just pissed me off, bro. I ain't even the type of nigga that got be on here and got boy. See? See? <laughs> bro. Nigga had, but the nigga had, nigga had all type of. <clears throat> But it ain't even that, brother. That shit on the internet, bro. <laughs> Duke ain't even know what to say. <clears throat> All right, y'all. We gonna react to Kai's next. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs>